Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mott. What we're going to do is go through electrolysis. We're going to look at the calculations and then we're going to look at uh, the actual experiment to verify that what we thought would happen in our, based upon our calculations uh, is actually what did happen. Uh, so the first thing to, to recognize is that electrolysis uh, is a non-spontaneous reaction. So that's why we have this battery here that's going to uh, help provide the electrons here and drive the reaction. In other words, the potassium iodide isn't spontaneously going to turn back into iodine, for instance, or uh, back into, into the potassium. Uh, so we've got our battery. We're going to have this hooked up uh, to, uh, these are actually what we're going to do in the lab. This is going to be graphite. Graphite's great at conducting electricity, but it's not going to interact with the solution in here. First thing we want to recognize is that, um, is that uh, what is, could un undergo electrolysis. The first thing that could undergo electrolysis are the ions that are present in solution. So what you want to do is you want to look at uh, a reduction potential sheet and you want to find, uh, you want to find the, uh, um, the reduction potentials for each of the ions that are present. So as I look at my reduction sheet, the first thing I see is I2 uh, solid plus two electrons turning into 2i minus, and then this is the reduction potential is given as uh, 0.53 volts. Okay, that's the first thing. Now, all of the, it kind of goes without saying, all of the uh, potentials that are given on the sheet are reduction potential sheets. It's a standard reduction potential uh, table. So this is written as a reduction, however, um, the iodine isn't present in our solution, it's the, it's the iodide ions. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip this equation and then flip our sign here. So our new way that we're going to look at this is the reverse. So 2i minus turning into I2 solid plus our two electrons. Now this is an oxidation potential. And because we flipped the reaction, this is now has the opposite sign. So it's negative 0.53 volts. Okay. So this is not uh, up here. This is not what happens. Okay. Um, it if if this is the oxidation that happens, it would be this one. Okay. Um, not this reaction. The second thing I'd look on my potential, I would look at uh, the potassium ions, and potassium ion is K plus plus E minus our electron making potassium solid, and then this is written as a reduction. So this is negative 2.92 volts. Okay, So that's our reduction potential for the, um, the ions that are in solution. We also have to remember that there's water in here. Okay, So what I want to do is I want to look at my reduction potentials uh, for water. And there's two equations on your sheet that involve water. Uh, the first one near the top of my sheet has it written as O2 uh, plus 4H plus plus my four electrons turning into water and the reduction potential is given as 1.23 volts. Now, which again, what you want to think about the way that this is written is as a reduction. However, it would be the water that is possibly taking up the electrons from the battery. So we actually need to flip this one as well. So similar to the top one, we're going to be flipping this one. So this is going to turn into 2H2O um, to form oxygen, my four hydrogen ions, and my four electrons. And now this is an oxidation. Okay, And this is, since I flipped my equation, I'm flipping my sign. There we go. Okay, so again, this is not what's happened either. So uh, we want to look for our last equation involving water, and this one is written as a reduction. We have two, it's written first, 2H2O gaining electrons to make a H2 plus 2OH minus. And then we have our, and this is written as a reduction, and the value is negative 0.83 volts. Oops, 83 volts, okay. 
So the four possible equations that we have uh, are, let's see, our four possible ones uh, are this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now, something to remember that's really important here is that in this process, you're going to have one oxidation and one reduction. So um, we're either going to have a reaction, we're either going to have this oxidation uh, and or this one, and then or or and we're going to have one reduction, one of these two. So one of these two and one of these two. So the way that this is going to work, since the battery is driving the reaction, the process, the oxidation and reduction that happens uh, is going to be the one that requires the least amount of energy. Okay, so let's look back at our um, our oxidation. So with this value here for the oxidation of the iodide ion, um, this one would require 0.53 volts. The other oxidation would require more. So it turns out that um, the one that the oxidation that has that requires the least amount of energy to put in um, is the oxidation of the iodide ion. So this is our oxidation reaction that's going to happen. Okay, so let's write that down below. Okay, so our oxidation reaction that's going to happen is going to be this one plus our two electrons. And I'll go ahead and write our potential, our oxidation potential here, as we can use that for a little bit later. And now let's take a look at our reductions. The first reduction was be the potassium ion turning into potassium solid, requiring 2.92 volts. Our other reduction here only requires uh, 0.83 volts. And so this is going to be the smaller amount. This is going to be our reaction here. So our, our uh, reduction is going to be of the water plus my two electrons going to H2 plus 2OH. And our reduction here is going to be negative 0.83 volts. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and test uh, our, our uh, electrolysis uh, solutions. Uh, as a way of, uh, of sort of verifying this. Um, if we are forming iodine, one way that we can test for the presence of iodine, going back to your biology days, is by adding starch to it. Okay. Um, the other thing that we can test for is that on the, on the other side of our U-tube, um, opposite of where the iodine forms, we're making hydroxide, so it's going to be basic. So we can add an indicator in there for that. Okay. Um, other things that you could be asked, uh, you could be asked uh, to determine uh, how much energy is needed to drive this cell. And so you would add these two up for the total. So just doing this in my head to be a negative, uh, let's see, negative 1.33 volts. Hope I did that right. Um, and then the other thing that you might need to do is come up with the overall reaction. Um, because the electrons are, that are lost are two and electrons gained are two, we don't have to multiply either of our equations. And we would total these up. So our overall equation would be 2I minus plus 2H2O, making I2 plus H2 plus 2OH minus. And that would be your overall reaction. All right? Next part of our video, we're going to show... Uh, the electrolysis, and then we're going to show um, uh, and sort of verify that these are, these are the reactions that we thought would occur and see if they do. Thanks for watching.